Welcome to this video. For example, if we open up the ME23N transaction, that is one transaction to display purchase orders, here in the top left area, there we have one button, the so-called generic object service button. If you click in the drop down, then you can see the functionalities. For example, you can create um, one document, for example, if you would like to upload a PDF file, an attachment, if you would like to send some information, if you would like to see the attachment list, if there is one, um, if you would like to uh, yeah, start a workflow, see a workflow overview and stuff like that, then you can use the generic object services button. And if you would like to hide the button, for um, SAP transactions like the ME23N or like the SAP SD transactions, the VA02, then you can do this with one user profile. Let's open up the SU3 transaction, go into parameters, and then if you have not added or used this, then you can use the SGOSNOB. U T parameter and you have to simply set it to X hit the enter key and click on the save button to save your changes and then once again go into the ME 23 and for example and then we can't see any any uh, button right now and if we go once again into the SU3 go into parameters I have already produced one video about how to activate the the generic object services button within the VA02, VA03, VA22 transactions or the SAP SD transactions. So it is already active, but based on this parameter, if we once again go into the VA02 for the sales order, then it is hide it. It is removed even though we have maintained the SD parameter. So this is one way how you can hide it uh, for, for the transactions if you would like to maintain the user profiles for multiple SAP users. You can also use the SU10 transaction code to basically enter the SAP users and then uh, yeah, maintain those for multiple users if you would like to. And once again, if we remove the parameter for uh, for this user, so let's just remove it, hit the enter, control S, and then once again, go into the VA02, then we can see that now the button is again available. If we go into the ME23N once again, then we can see that the button is there. So this is one way how you can hide the button if needed for the SAP transactions. If you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.